hey, we're making cannoli cream today, but I'm not making traditional cannolis. I'm, make, I'm making this cannoli cream, which is so easy to do. Of course, you should make cannoli cream yourself. And I'm turning it into little cannoli bites. And they're on this plate with fruits and nuts and chocolate. I mean, come on, is this not beautiful? I'd like it if somebody brought this to my house and I'm sure you feel the same. So hang tight because I'm gonna make this for you right now. Welcome to Secret Kitchens of New Jersey. So we're making cannoli cream today. We're not making the actual cannoli. I mean, let's just say, who doesn't love a good cannoli? I certainly do, but I really love that cannoli cream. Turns out it's so easy to make and it's got, there's other ways you can use it. So what we're gonna wind up doing today, I'm gonna call it cannoli bites, all right? but it starts with cannoli cream. Recipe, all that jazz, all down below. So we're starting out with um, about 15, 16 ounces of full fat ricotta cheese. And here's the thing, <clears throat> I knew I was doing this, so I did this last night. I put it in a strainer and I'm draining it because all of this, ex the excess liquid, we don't want that to be in our cannoli, all right? So let's put this in a bowl. And um, really not too much to make turn this into beautiful silky cannoli cream. So we're gonna need some powdered sugar. And in the recipe I have written for you, it says a half a cup of powdered sugar. So, oh, here's the thing with sugar, with anything, you can always add more, but once you add it, you can't subtract it. So I'm gonna go, this is my half cup measure. I'm going to take out a little bit. I'm not going to make it quite a full half, okay? Because if I find it needs to be sweeter, I can always add more. So this is almost a half a cup. All right, so I want a little bit of cinnamon. And we're going to go with a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Half a teaspoon. And then, of course, we need vanilla. And uh, I'm using my homemade vanilla. Gee, I hope you're making your own vanilla. It's so easy and it's delicious. Maybe I'll show that on another episode. All right, so a half a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm measuring it, but you know normally I just, whoops, that was a little more than a half, but that's okay. All right, so let's take a wooden spoon. We're going to mix this with the hand mixer, but I just want to kind of get it started here with my wooden spoon. All right, and then we're going to mix it with the hand mixer. All right, and the last ingredient that we're going to wind up adding is some chocolate chips. And uh, ideally, you would use the minis, but I'm not ideal today. I only have the regular chocolate chips. All right, let's get our mixer. We are going to mix this till it is a super silky smooth uh, consistency. Okay, I mixed it for, I don't know, maybe it was about two minutes. And you can see the consistency here. It's nice and thick and rich. You know, just, Jim, you wanna have a good look at that? Okay, okay. All right, so here's our cannoli cream, nice and rich. And I do wanna mention something. We use powdered sugar, not granulated sugar, because the powdered sugar, mm, it's delicious. The powdered sugar really dissolves beautifully and the granulated sugar might get a graininess to this. This is really nice and rich. All right, here's, here's the thing. I could just take a spoon, go in the other room and eat the whole thing and call it a day. But I won't do that. Maybe later I will. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna add, I mean, honestly, that just took a moment. Now we're gonna add some chocolate chips. Here's about a half a cup. You want to do a little more, a little less, that's fine too. Like I said, ideally the mini chocolate chips I think are the best here, but that's all right. I'm using what I have. And these chocolate chips are semi-sweet. All right, the cannoli cream is done. That didn't take long. And you know what? Of course we do have to give it a little bit of a taste just to see how it is. Mm-hmm. It's great. <laughs> Not too sweet, 
just the right amount of sweetness for me. Okay, so here's what we do. Ideally, I do this the day before. I let it chill overnight. But you can just chill it for a couple of hours in the refrigerator. It'll just be a little bit easier to work with. So let me get this in the refrigerator and then I'll show you what we're gonna do once it's ready. This is the one, I had one that I made already, uh, the uh, cannoli filling, and it was chilled for multiple hours. Here's what we're gonna do. We're not making, I told you we're making what I'm gonna call cannoli bites, because we can use cannoli filling in many different ways. So I'm using these little puff pastry, uh, I mean phyllo shells, not puff pastry, little phyllo shells. You've probably seen these in the supermarket. Uh, they're, they're, you don't have to bake them. But what I did was, I did put them in the oven for about five minutes at 350, just to get them a little, get the chill out, let's say. And I am gonna go ahead and fill these with the cannoli cream. You can use a piping bag, you can use a melon baller, you can do this any way you like. But you know what? I'm just going to do it this way. Mm. So let me get these filled, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, I filled up my little cannoli shells, these little little phyllo shells for my cannoli bites. And um, I stuffed them as much as I could. I, I did have some left over, full disclosure, because we're thinking outside the box here on cannoli cream. We can make things beyond traditional cannolis. So what I want to do is I want to dress this platter. I've got raspberries, I've got uh, strawberries, I've got some chocolate sauce, I've got some nuts. So let's, um, I'm going to take a few minutes and put this all together and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. It's going to be a really beautiful platter. All right, as you can see, uh, as Jim would say, Jim is our cameraman in case you don't know, uh, Jim would say I'm gilding the lily, but I would say, yeah, why not? Let's gild. Let's do it. I mean, doesn't this look great? This would make such a beautiful presentation, but we're not done yet. I'm going to sprinkle some, I've got some, uh, you know, medium, medium chopped walnuts. You can use any nut you like. I'm going to just really make this over the top. All right, so we've got some nuts. And also, ah, I want to put some more chocolate chips on here. This is going to be such a fun platter for people. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you love it if somebody brought this to your house? And then I've got some uh, chocolate syrup. I love this product. I've used it for years. Not sponsored. I just happen to love it. Comes in different flavors. Let's squeeze some of this on. Oh yeah, there's no right or wrong here. I'm just having fun with this. We've already been gilding the lily. Let's just go completely crazy. A little bit of powdered sugar on the top. And you tell me that is not a beautiful way of using cannoli cream. These beautiful little cannoli bites. This would satisfy any sweet tooth. It looks great. You got to try it. That's all I can say. So I think I should try one. Okay, I got one of these little cannoli bites out and let's give it a taste. I mean, uh, it just looks so good. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. First of all, these phyllo cups, phyllo cups, potato, potato, they're nice and crunchy, which I love. And then you've got that wonderful creaminess of the um, cannoli cream, you've got the fruit, you've got the, um, the nuts, the chocolate, it's the whole package. This is great. I really think you'll love it. I hope you'll make this. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. You really keep me inspired. I really appreciate it. We'll see you next time on Secret Kitchens of New Jersey. Bye everyone.